So the whole point with the performance pack, or part of it at least, is the Berlin's adjustable dampers, which can be manually set. And today I'm going to show how to do that. Some people might find it a hassle or might think it's too complicated to do it themselves. And I've done it a few times. I normally do it twice a year when I change uh, from winter tires to summer tires or the other way around. So let's look at uh, how to do it. Now, this method is actually aimed at helping you to be able to do this with the tires on. You don't necessarily need to take them off, even though that does make the task a little bit easier in terms of access, but not mandatory. You might know that there are three recommended positions by Polestar, which means that you need to use this as the number of clicks when you rotate the adjustment knob in the dampers. Uh, there is one for track, one nominal and one for comfort. Normally I use the nominal one in the summer and the comfort one in the winter, but it's really down to each person's preference, really. Let's start with the easy one, which is the front wheels. They are much easier to access, as I will show. First thing to do is to rotate the wheel inwards so you can actually put your hand behind the wheel. Now behind the wheel, you will see that the adjustment knob is facing downwards and you will need to look for it with your hand without actually being able to see it. So tactile approach is necessary here. So right behind the wheel, you will find the adjustment knob exposed. And what you need to do is to rotate it clockwise first to reach the end of the adjustment position. So basically position zero. When you feel the resistance and it doesn't click anymore, you shouldn't force it. And you should bring it to the click one and then counterclockwise, uh, as if you're unscrewing a screw, you will rotate and feel or hear the clicks. And with this adjustment I am doing, uh, I will count eight clicks for every damper. On the back wheels, it's a bit of a different story because access is a little bit more tricky but it's not as difficult as actually explained in the manual and I will explain how. For the back wheel access uh, to the dampers, you do need to jack up the car. You need to use an appropriate jack and find the suspension points where you can attach the jack to. You will see that there is a seam that is semi-glued to prevent dust from coming into the compartment. Uh, in the lining, uh, in the wheel cavity. So what I'll be doing is putting my hand through this part to access the damper, which is in the back wheels facing upwards. There is a rubber cover that you need to detach and I do it by prying it upwards and then out. Now this isn't easy to film, but you can squeeze your hand through this gap and then reset the knob by turning it clockwise until you reach the resistance point at the end and then resetting it to zero and then counting counterclockwise with the amount of clicks that corresponds to the adjustment that you want to set. Same for every wheel. The whole procedure takes about 10, 15 minutes, I would say. So it is actually not that hard. And the threshold is lower than I expected uh, when I read the comments about how difficult it was to change the damper settings. You can perfectly do this yourself. And even though the access is a bit tricky in the back, I think it's uh, actually a cool feature to manually adjust the dampers. It's something mechanical that you can do in the car. So I hope you found this useful and that you enjoy the different settings according to the different conditions that you want to drive in.